Hi, I'm Lindsay Ann. Today I'm going to show you how to make disposable pans in just about any shape and size for your cakes, brownies, cheesecakes, and more. I'm really excited to share with you guys my do-it-yourself pan technique because I've honestly never seen this done before and it's such a great solution for when you want to bake either a cake or a brownie, even a cheesecake, and you don't have a specific size or shaped pan that you want to work with. So here's a great solution. I'm going to start off with showing you guys my foil pans and you can create these in any shape or size you want. Here I have um, a heart-shaped foil pan and it's really cool and really easy to make. I used this for when I made my uh, red velvet cheesecake layer cake. I've done jumbo cookie cakes in them. And what you're gonna do is just take a long piece of foil. I have two pieces that I stapled together and I folded them over to create this about two inches high. And I'm just gonna start to make a heart shape. You can do this with round, any kind of shape you want. And at this point, it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to bend it into shape once we put the bottom on. So I'm just gonna staple that in place. And then we just take another piece of foil, put it underneath, and we're gonna fold it up and over the sides of our pan. And as we do that, we're gonna shape it. And again, you can do this in any size you want. I like to do it in about six to seven inch heart. That way it can fit right in um, like an eight inch cake pan for when I'm ready to bake it. So you're gonna fold it up and over the sides. I'm gonna rip the middle just so it can fit in all the nooks and crannies of the pan. Okie dokie. And then once the bottom's on, I'm just going to kind of push it into place to create that perfect heart shape. And once it, you can play with it as long as you want until you get that perfect shape you're looking for. Um, but once it's ready, you're just going to want to spray it with a little nonstick spray, place it right in a baking dish, and you're ready to bake. So you can do this with anything you want, like I said. And honestly, you don't need to invest in one of these for a heart-shaped cake you're gonna make once or twice a year for Valentine's Day or something special. This works just as great. So the next type of cake pan I'm gonna show you is a springform pan. And a springform pan is used to make cheesecakes because it has this feature on the side where it just opens up the sides so the sides can slide right off so your cheesecake inside comes out nice and clean. And I don't make cheesecakes very often. I made um, a pumpkin spice cheesecake for Thanksgiving that um, I used this parchment pan technique for and it came out beautiful. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna have a cookie sheet with a piece of parchment paper right on top. And then I have this piece of parchment paper just folded into a long strip. And I, wanted, I made a mini five inch cheesecake when I made my pumpkin spice cheesecake. Um, this is a little bit smaller and you just wrap it around something round and then I'm just going to go ahead and staple it right in place. And this is going to be a cute miniature cheesecake size. And then you place it on your parchment and then when you're ready to do your graham cracker crust, you're going to press it right in and that's going to create a little barrier so when you pour in your cheesecake mixture the crust is going to seal up that little crack so the batter doesn't come spilling out and then you just take it on your uh, cookie sheet and put it right in the oven and when you're ready for the cheesecake to be revealed you just rip it right open and you remove it and you have a perfect cheesecake right inside Another really simple method. So the last little technique I'm gonna share with you guys is something I actually use all the time because I make 
little miniature treats and desserts for one or two a lot. And um, the favorite thing I have is these what look like mini cake pans. These are actually jumbo oversized tuna cans. And I just washed them out really well <laughs> so there's no tuna taste in there and you remove the paper. And they work as miniature four inch cakes. So I create little mini four inch layer cakes out of these. I also have a bunch of single serving recipes that I have and I'll leave a link to recipes you guys can use for any of these pans. Um, you can bake little mini cakes and ramekins. I've also made little mini sheet cakes out of these tiny little loaf pans so that's really fun too. So if you guys want to try any of these out, let me know how it goes. And for more videos, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel or connect with me online for more fun baking tips, recipes, and ideas. Thanks for stopping by my Dollhouse Bake Shop. I'm going to dig into this and I'll see you guys next time.